everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Abiola Adeife remember you can call me Abiola by Grace Abby or Abiola okay so today is a very interesting one I have a guest with me today <laughs> I'm so happy so this is conversation series okay I think uh, my previous anyways when I'll continue that when our guest is here Sure, our guest is here. Okay, yes. Awesome. Okay. Okay, so let me know when you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Yes, so um I know it seems like we're we don't have uh, the audience here, but we'll act like it. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. So, guys, I was telling you guys about how we have a guest on, but today, so this is the beginning of conversation series with Abiola by Grace. Of course, uh, the last conversation I had was I was a guest, but now I'm the host and I have a guest on me. And I'll just let her introduce herself. She's Tosi, so she's going to tell us a bit about herself. And while we have this um, conversation, okay. So, what are you to say? Okay, thank you for having me. It's such a pleasure and such an honor to be here. Thank you so much. I'm very grateful. So, my name is Tosin Olu Tosin um, Olua. Um, I'm a girl. I'm a woman. I'm a lady. I'm a child of God. Of course. Um, <laughs> I'm a lawyer by training, and I just love Jesus. Basically, I think that's like the essence of my life that's that's what defines me as a person i'm just somebody that really loves jesus and i try as much as possible to serve wherever i can however i can and i just wrote my first book yes so i think that that's that what you're talking about today <laughs> yeah that, that pretty much sums it up so i'm just somebody that loves jesus basically that's that's just it. that's it okay yeah so backstory guys tosi and i met in secondary school shout out to asko all saints college and it's funny how she said she's a jesus girl and that's actually the connection we both have i remember even back in all saints like we were fine we weren't extremely close but we had this connecting thing and i'm just so glad we are doing great things together i mean yeah yeah i'm so glad yeah thank yeah, god so today thank we are talking you guys can see the title already because it's below so we're talking about driving through singlehood and uh, Tosin just wrote a book and um, so I'm going to actually share the sc uh, screen very soon once she starts talking about the book but first of all I have two questions for, for Tosin I have two questions for her so Tosin are you single right now? very single like Faust would say I'm single to stupor <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, and what inspired this book? what inspired you writing the book? Ah, it depends how long the, the, the short the short version or the long version. There are two versions of the story. The medium, the medium version. <laughs> the medium version. Okay, so um some months ago, I just woke up in the middle of the night and you know I, I heard God clearly say, Start praying for him. And I knew what he meant. But it was really hard because I was like, How can I be praying for somebody that I don't know? Like, who does that? How does that work? But you know, I just I just saw that assurance and God was like just start and then i started and what i did was every day i would pray i committed to spend maybe just like 15 minutes every day to pray for my future partner because that was obviously what he meant so i committed to maybe like 15 minutes every day and i knew that i had to go hmm. on a prayer project that was how i was going to keep myself accountable so i decided on 40 days <laughs> so 15 minutes every day and when it's time to pray i just come to the place of prayer i have my pen and my bible and i just write you know I, I i think about the things that god had been talking to me about concerning marriage what he had been talking to me about concerning who, who i was going to marry and i would just write out you know scriptures and you know things that god was talking with me about on every single day so i basically documented you know the entire 40-day journey and at the end of it it was not it was a very very painful experience it's a very painful one you know the conversations that we have with your God. laptop crashing in between ah uh, that, that one is like that that's like later later <laughs> that's like later later and at the end of it um when i was true like maybe some weeks later i was praying and i was thanking god 
for how I had gone through that 40 days and, you know, the changes that I had seen. And I was talking to God about the pain that I had experienced. And I heard him clearly say, I'm going to use your pain to bring light to other people. Mm -hmm. And then that was when I got the instruction to write the book. And then he was like, I should turn, you know, the whole thing into a book because I had written, I had written, like I had documented the entire process. And then he said I should turn it, you know, into a book. So that was basically what inspired it. So it's not like it's something that I just woke up and said, yes. oh, I want to write a book or something. It was a clear, express instruction, probably something not that I, what I would have wanted. And left to me, I was taking my time to write the book because I was like, I can write at any time. Okay. But along the line, I got that urge and God was like, you have to speed things up like ASAP. So yeah, that's, 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 that's pretty much then. Continue. Yeah. Continue. Uh, about my laptop crashing. Um, at the time I started writing it, I felt really ill. And I think that was when my laptop started having issues. I've been using that laptop for like five years. I have never had a single issue with it because I'm always very careful. I mean, I don't have money to buy that one. So I'm always very, very careful. And then the moment I finished with the book, um my laptop just stopped working it wasn't good thing nothing was happening yeah. my saving grace was the fact that i had sent it to a friend to edit for me okay. so that was the only reason why i had like, oh, a copy i even started editing i think i had edited i had edited the first draft so on when it crashed and then when i got to the place where they were going to fix it they were all like <sighs> Is looking, you know, hopeless. I just have to pray because I'm like, I don't have money to buy another system right now. And God is saying I have to do this thing on time. So I'm just glad God came through and, you know, we're able to fix it and, you know, the book got completed. So that's basically the story behind it. That's good. Thanks for sharing that. You know, two things that we, from what you said about the timing. And I love the fact, and I'm grateful to God that you actually obeyed that because it was just a few weeks ago I dropped the, uh, my uh, uh, episode on singleness, like enjoying singlehood, thriving through singlehood. And I remember I am at on praying and praying and praying. To be honest, some people have been messaging me on Instagram about oh, the way I was hammering on prayer, like what's the essence, what I did to pray about. You know, millennials, like we can trivialize so many things. And then yeah. you have said God told you to be praying about him, which in fact, I will actually have have to do an uh, episode on prayer like what we should pray about as millennials because yeah, people think yeah. it's just for you to pray about today pray about uh, mm, like, true, God, so God true. I want to go so out true. but you know you're certainly scores ahead of even the marriage exactly you know, exactly 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 thanks for exactly. sharing that and the timing of your book came at the right time because now I'm doing that uh, the series on time. yeah see so God see God that, that is God time things together for us yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So yeah absolutely Book just a bit. Um, I'm trying to find a way to share. Okay, yeah. So I have the sharing screen. Okay, so yes. Yeah. So we're gonna share that. Okay, yes. Yeah. So, um, yes. Yeah. So you can just talk. So this is the title of the book, guys. So it's waiting, praying, and growing, and it's a 40 days journey. And Tosin is going to be sharing so some things we should look forward in, uh, to in this book with us okay um what to look forward to i don't know because the honest truth is i remember telling my friend i don't feel like i authored the book i don't feel like it's my book so for me i feel like a third part itself to the whole thing because <laughs> it's not my work it's not my work at the end of the day i feel like very very alien to the whole situation but i think one of the main things or one of the things that really um formed like a background for it was i realized the fact that a lot of us don't um like a lot of people don't prepare during their single years for marriage especially for those of us that we have to wait we spend that waiting period praying for god to bring whoever it is that he wants to bring and we don't really prepare for that person you know and it's very very important i think it's even more important to pray for the person and so a lot of people go into marriage and they end up having issues because they've not set to themselves as individuals and you know going through that i every time i would thank god and i would say to god thank god i'm still single at this time because god opened my eyes to a lot of things and i think that's like my number one prayer point i always think like thank god i didn't get married before now because i would have born good things i would have made a whole lot of mistakes i would have made mistakes that are irreversible you, you so you're just getting to know now 
right? Exactly. Like, imagine exactly. Having exactly. Learn, imagine having to learn those things in marriage. It's a trouble. Yeah. Serious struggle. Serious struggle. So that's basically the idea behind it. Is that you know, as people sit down with God through that book, looking at all of the topics that God will speak to their hearts because the Christian journey is a customized one. So the honest truth is there is nothing, in my own opinion, there is nothing... A personalized one. Yes, mm. yes, it's mm. a customized mm. and personalized journey. Mm. So in my own opinion, there is nothing really in that book that somebody might not have heard before. Wow. So the secret behind it really is sitting down with God and allowing God to speak to you because when I was going through these things, there were a lot of things that I knew in my head, but... As I went through it and as I was praying, you know, God, God, God did something to my heart, not just my head, not just head knowledge, but there was a shifting in my spirit. There was a shifting in my soul as I sat down with God. And, you know, as I prayed, there was, you know, a lot of things changed. Wounds that I thought had healed, you know, God opened my eyes and I realized that, yes, the wounds had healed, but there were still scars. And sometimes when you see scars, they, they remind you of things you should not be reminded of. They can be a painful reminder. So for me, it was not just wound healing, but scars began to fade. I began to become not really numb, but things that would have triggered me no longer triggered me anymore. You know, it was a real um, healing process. Understand. So that I think that's that's basically what the book is about, and the way it's written, you it's to pray for whoever you marry. But as you are praying for whoever you marry, it is to challenge you, the reader. It will challenge you yourself that this thing that I'm praying for this person to be, this thing that I'm praying that this person will become. Am I that kind of person? Understand. You know, like they will always say like meet your own standards if you have certain standards then you should meet you know those standards by yourself as an individual so basically that's what the book is about you know praying for your future partner and at the same time a call to action to your own self to your own personal life to become all that god has called whoever it is that is reading to become all that god has called you to be to really see who you are to really understand you know who you are who god has called you to be and one thing i really you know that I really understood as I went on that journey is that marriage, every marriage has its own individual purpose. You know, there are generic things that, you know, that are applicable to marriage, but every marriage is made for something. There is something that my own marriage will do that another person's marriage will not do. And I was able to discover that as I went on that journey. So that's, that's basically what people can expect. Like if really you sit down with God with that book, healings will come your wounds will be healed your scars will fade you will become a brand new person entirely you will see yourself anew and i think yeah for me i i began to see myself you know very 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 differently at the end of it so that's that's what to expect yeah to touch on that uh marriage with purpose is you know sometimes people people trivialize marriage and i said it on my uh, the video i released on a uh, single with is that marriage is also a ministry so there's a reason and there's a purpose for it for birth yeah. and institution yes. so if yes. you, you you don't you don't have a purpose you don't think it's a purpose then that there's a purpose for it you just marry anybody because then mm -hmm. you don't know how the person will fit into the purpose and then you guys will just be blind and be carrying yourself around and think, oh, you're married, you're in love and the likes, right? Yeah, and I also look forward to the growing part of this book because it's one thing to, you know, know God, pray, but it's another thing to be growing and to be growing, you know, a baby, a baby will grow from uh, crawling to working, to start walking, so to say. And then, uh, but there are some babies that they will not walk when they need to walk. Because they are not growing well, right? They will not start running or they won't talk when they need to talk because they are not growing well. So sometimes to us, we think we are growing, but in actual sense, we are not growing. In actual sense, we are just, you know, just it's just the spirit that is helping us. So I actually look forward to the growing part of this of this book. I do look forward to the growing part of this book. That, that's yeah. so true. So that's thank so true. you so much for that. And I also look forward to reading every part of the book, definitely, because I believe yeah. even people who are married also need the book because yes, we, yes, we, yes. we always wait on, on god for different things do you understand so it's waiting waiting exactly 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 i think that's one of the things that you know even going through the 
process or going through singlehood has taught me it has helped me not just waiting in terms of marriage it has really helped me to understand how to wait on god for anything, for anything. and for everything like it has really it has helped my faith you know as a person in every area not just marriage or relationship or anything so yeah yeah that's it yeah so thanks for sharing that with us we look forward to the book and uh i know you mentioned it's your experience and it's your journey but that you've you know compiled together but and that's the beauty of life because the bible also the bible that we read is the experience and journey of so many people right and it's just for us like you said for us to sit down personally and that's the I think that's where the lazy there's this laziness in our own generation people just want to keep hearing things they don't want to read they don't want to delve into it they want people to be feeding them and you, you're only going to be feeding on people's perspectives people's experience but god wants us to experience it deeper in different dimensions so i just really hope that as people are reading are going to read this book they know that this is tosin's experience this is tosin's journey mm -hmm. and then they delve into it even deeper and more so that they too can mm -hmm. you know what god wants to birth through them through mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. through studying his word mm -hmm. in jesus name mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Any last Amen. words or a few words for us before we wrap up here? Last words, few words. I don't. I don't think I have any. I don't know. I. I think it's just if I will have any word. I think the most important thing, you know, no matter where you are in your journey or where you are, the most important thing is your relationship with God. You know, if your relationship with God is not right, I doubt if you can enjoy marriage because. One thing I've realized is that my work with God is a marriage, you know. I've, I've come to see that's a God. tweet right there. My work with God <laughs> is a marriage. Come on, that's a tweet. I've, I've, I've come to see God as my husband. I've, got, I've come to see God as my lover. So, you know, I think it's very, very important, especially for those waiting. You don't have to be frustrated. I understand the fact that it can be really frustrating sometimes when you're waiting on God. But when you begin to, you know, see this work as a love work, mm. you just realize that see, anything any man wants to come and give you is just Jara because God is loving up on you every day. Like you're enjoying love. That thing you're looking for right. inside marriage. It is in God you will find it. If you don't find God first, if you don't find satisfaction and fulfillment and contentment and contentment in God, you can't find it in marriage, you can't find it in anything else. So first and foremost, most importantly, you know, just develop your work with God. Start to enjoy your work with God and you know, just see it as life. Your your spiritual life should not just be an area of your life, it should be all encompassing. Everything about your life should, you know, come forth and spring forth from your work with God. So yeah, that's just that's that's all I have to say. Thank you so much. Up. Last words. Thank you so much. You've learned it. Thank you. Me, even me myself. <laughs> I have, and I'm so glad we got to do this, you know. Yeah. Thank you so much. And I hope to have you again on my channel. Maybe we'll have to have like a live session on Instagram yeah. or something, you know, on the book. And please let us know how to get the book as well. How how can we get it? Um, there's a link for it. It's on Google Drive. There's a link for it on Google Drive. I'm trying to get um, a link for a website as well. So I'm going to put that up on and my Instagram channel, exactly. on my Instagram page. Exactly. Sorry. Yeah. So just put the link on your Instagram um, page. So I'll yes, yes. Instagram it's actually page. it's actually on my on my bio already. The, okay, the link to Google good. Drive is on my bio already. I will so, also put the link yeah. below. For people yeah thank to, you you know click on it and just get it and she and it's free jesus has paid for it in tosin's work jesus has paid you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much okay thank you All so right. much for having me because i really appreciate this thank you very very much it's that. an honor and a privilege i do not take you for granted you know your time yeah. and you know willingness to sit down and talk with me about the book i'm very grateful thank you thank so you. very much god bless you yeah thank you so much me for me one thing is there's no coincidence in this life god has ordained our life Lives and you know, yeah. it's just for us to be led by the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah. So, true. For granted. so thank you also for uh, willing to do this for me as well.
Yeah. So my absolute all right. pleasure. My absolute so, pleasure. On that note, to get to wrap this up, and I hope to see everybody on my next episode on Fabiola by Grace. Please make sure to check out Susan's page on Instagram. I'm going to put a link to our Instagram page below. Click it, check it out. She's got lots of things there encouraging you know millennials like us. We need this positive content, like I always emphasize. That's what we need to keep growing. All right, on, a, on to another time with me on Aviola by Grace. Take care. Bye and be safe. Tosin, I'll see you soon. <laughs>